Alright guys, so we are here. Yes, we. Eric has decided to join me with doing the haul of the stuff that he purchased at the auction when he was there. And I was so upset. Set. I was actually off work but was not able to go along because mm -hmm. I wasn't feeling well and I'm still trying to just get over this sinus infection that I have so if I start like squinting or making weird noise not weird noises but weird faces it's because like my sinuses are just really bugging me and it's making my eyes water and my nose run and the whole nine yards so but yeah let's let's just get right on into it um I'm gonna let Eric decide on what to start showing first pressure is on huh <laughs> so what do you want to show first well, this is from the auction I posted the other day. Uh, I'm lucky I have off on Tuesdays and there happens to be an auction not too far from us, so I've been spending my days there. If you want me to keep taking you along, I'll keep taking you along. <laughs> it, was, it was really busy this week though, really, really busy. A lot busier than I've ever seen it. Granted, I haven't been going that long, but there seemed to be a lot of people there and they were there for the glassware. <laughs> But I did manage to pick up a few things. So where do you want to start? Let's start with... I miss going. I want to go back. So you, want, you, want, you want to take a popper? Okay. All right. So before Eric went, I did kind of give him a list of things that interested me. Things that, you know, I would like him to have bid on. Not necessarily win because, I mean, obviously we can't win everything. Um, but these guys were on the list and these are so stinking cute. So, I obviously don't know everything, but when we look at the pictures of stuff that is going to be at the auction, it kind of gives us a chance to, um, what, how do you want it, like, kind research a little bit? Attempt to research Attempts because to you research. can't really tell yeah. anything. They're just blurry pictures. Like, that, I mean, they're taken with like a yeah. five megapixel camera. That and like obviously you can't tell if something has like chips or damage or yeah. anything like that. But these guys, I was definitely interested in, and these were by Beswick, England, and they are Staffordshire dogs. Yes. Um. And these, I think, were meant to sit it's on like your mantle place. People eyes. Yeah, their eyes <laughs> are very much like a people. <laughs> Oopsies. See them? See them eyes balls? <laughs> but these are so cute. Um, so meant to kind of like sit on your uh, mantle place. And these, when I looked them up, they were selling really well, especially as a set. But unfortunately. But. but. <laughs> <laughs> One, I didn't notice it at the time, but maybe you can see it. Is that focused? There's a big piece that was glued in. Yeah. Normally, I'm really good at pointing that stuff out. Eric has eagle eyes. I had, I had an issue so this much. week with this, though. <laughs> um, but, yes, yeah, so, unfortunately, I'm not going to be selling them as a pair. The other one will probably just put in the donate pile, um, just because I don't feel comfortable selling something that was broken and then repaired. Uh, but I am going to attempt to sell just the one. So maybe someone out there broke their other one and, you know, need another for, like, as a replacement. So we're still going to try to, <laughs> um... List, list Safe the face one. On that one. Yeah, but these are so adorable. I absolutely love them. I told Eric if we had a mantle, like I'd consider just keeping them and sitting them on our mantle. But we don't have one, and I don't really know a place in the house to to display them. So, so what did you end up winning those at? Somewhere around twenty two, which was steep. Was it going to be steep if they were, one wasn't busted? It would have been still a pretty good steal, but... Typically, I give him, like, um, a price point of, like, what I am, like, comfortable at bidding at and, like, stopping because I like to get stuff as cheap as possible. I feel like I gave you... I said to bid... I thought it was $15, but... It was. <laughs> bit more than the, my price point which kind of bit you in the butt because the one ended up it being did. broke okay. but I still feel confident about listing even just for just one. one I think you'll still do pretty well yeah might not make a ton but hold on, okay. hold on what 
<laughs> it was it was really blurry. If the lighting's a little <laughs> weird, we're kind of in like a dark office with a fluorescent yeah. light right now. Because this yeah. is like where we edit videos, and it's pretty dark in this room for the most part. But we can't both fit in that blue room. I'll go blind. Yeah. There's studio lights in there. I, I ain't having that. I typically like when I film my hauls. I'm filming in what I call my beauty room. It's where I get like I put all my makeup and stuff in the morning and all that kind of stuff. Um, and I have lights on either side of me plus lights coming down from like the table I'm sitting at. So it's a more lit yeah, up than what it is in here. <laughs> okay, so next thing. Next thing, what do you want next? Uh, here you go. Little oil diffuser. <laughs> Can we make it? Is it in? <laughs> there it is. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, so little story time behind this guy. When I saw it in the picture, I thought it was like a paperweight. I wasn't honestly sure exactly what it was, um, but I was pleasantly surprised when Eric um, actually got it and it came with the original paperwork. What? Oh, I thought you were. I did hold it up. Oh, okay. <laughs> you can keep talking. Well, I kind of wanted to. Mm. So it came with the original paperwork and it says a special gift of glass from Northwest Studios. So that's who made it. And then it kind of gives a little blurb, a little story of how it was made. And this was actually made with ash from the Mount St. Helens volcano eruption, which is super cool how they can make something like that. Um, you know, using ash, and it's actually an oil... Oil diffuser. An oil lamp, oil diffuser. There's a little glass insert on the top that was never used. <laughs> struggling with this. <laughs> struggle bus, we are on the struggle bus, there we go. But yes, it's absolutely gorgeous, and like, every one that they made obviously looks slightly slightly different it comes out slightly different so i just thought that was super cool and you know it was never actually used either um never burned geez was that a <clears throat> tractor trailer <laughs> no probably just a regular <laughs> truck okay so what'd you end up winning this at Ooh, man, I think that was only like three bucks. Three bucks. I gave him a bid of uh, five. five dollars. So he ended up getting that a little cheaper than what I had told him t to bid at. So that was an awesome thing to get, especially considering I wasn't even sure <laughs> what it was. I was just like, yeah. bid five bucks on that. <laughs> I don't know if you could see in the camera, but it's, it's really cool looking it on top, actually. It is super cool. It's beautiful. It's glass art. Next. Super pretty. Next. Next. More glass that I did win. Oops. More glass that I did win. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm trying to take everything out of your hands. I want to hold it. Well, you can tell them about it. I'll hold <laughs> okay. it. Okay. So, this piece here is by... Um, okay, it's, oh, no. It <laughs> it's called Jefferson Carnival Glass. And it is opalescent blue and... It is called a May basket. So it's just a small glass basket. Has a really awesome curvature here to the handle and you know, kind of like a hobnail type design. Um, and this would make for a perfect candy dish. Like how beautiful would that look sitting with some like colorful candy wrappers in there. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, it is also, there's a marking on the bottom that says something about patent something or other. I forget exactly what it says. Probably. It's not a patent number. It just says patent for or for patent or something like that. Um, but anyway, when I was looking them up, um, they were listed at pretty decent prices. I can't remember now off the top of my head. 50-ish? I think, I'm not I sure. think I it was think around, it was around I think it was around that area. Um, but definitely it's super nice. I forget what year they're from. I want to say, uh, based on the other stuff that we got um, at this auction, it seemed like the people had them even like back in like the early 1900s. So 
Um, I'm not quite sure though like when that piece was made, um, but we do definitely have some older stuff from that time period. So. It's in pretty good shape too. It's a little it's a little jaggy under here, but I yeah, think that's just I kind of the way it was made. It looks so like chips, but when you look close, they're kind of rounded, so I'm thinking that's just during the twist. Yeah, it's gorgeous though. Oh, and wow. what did you win this for? This one was for about five dollars, I think. Okay, I gave him a bid of five dollars to bid on that, so I'm glad we got five or six. Considering, like he said, a lot of people were there for the glass. Um, I'm happy that we did get. Yeah, I'm. I'm, some I'm glass sad pieces. to report that that daisies and fern. Uh, what was that Fenton? That yeah, that pitcher. I wanted that. I really, really wanted that. I wanted to show you use that. <laughs> like I thought it was pretty cool, but. I think it went for like close to two hundred dollars. <laughs> it's like wow. <laughs> yeah, I um I wanted the Mangelica pieces, but they, yeah, they went, went pretty high. They too. went high. And the one was even had a fair amount of chips in the picture, and it still what else went. Did I want? Oh, I wanted that one lamp. Well, I, I think I wanted two lamps. I the wanted Belova. that pink. I wanted that pink ball lamp, and I also wanted what I think might have possibly been a Belova lamp. It's kind of shaped like a mushroom with two little hands yeah. inside. Yeah, we didn't win those. And then like the thing is, and it's kind of, it kind of gives you an idea a little bit and we didn't know, I think like this was the first time we um, kind of found out about it is when there's a sticker on something. Somebody's bidding Somebody, you can't see. Yeah, so someone who maybe isn't there has put in a their max bid, bid and yeah, has a bid on the item already for their max. I think some of those pictures on the website probably draw some people in. Yeah. I would have liked it. I thought it was a cool design. Why don't we make stuff like that nowadays? <laughs> Even nice all stuff. the glasses were chipped. Yeah. Uh, I mean, if you're just displaying <laughs> it, I guess that doesn't matter. No. I did see the pictures for next week's auction. auction? Sorry. <laughs> I did see the pictures for next week's auction, and it has a white one just like it now. Yeah. So... I'm I sure. will try again. Yeah, try again. My, but white, my white whale <laughs> that now. Same person, that same person will, <laughs> will be back there. We'll probably be back for it. Yep. It didn't have glasses this time, so it might not go nearly as high. So we'll have to see. I do have a budget. This no. is real life. I have a budget. I can't blow 200 bucks on a picture. Quite frankly, I just wanted the picture from that Fenton set. Because like when he told me that the, the, the glasses were chipped, like I didn't even care. It was like, I just want, I really just wanted the picture. But. I just thought they were really cool. <laughs> well, I mean, they were, but. Okay, next up. Yeah! What's up? What's that, what's is this you like this? You probably uh, you probably don't even want to sell this one. I this think, is this is up your alley. I think I will try I it. think maybe people didn't really know what this was. I have to block you out. <laughs> I gotta block you out. Uh, okay, so this piece is Fostoria, and essentially what you're looking at is this would have sat on can I hold? I just you can. I just always like. To I hold. will lift it up. Okay, so this would have sat on someone's vanity, probably like back in possibly the early 1900s. So down here in this part, you could maybe put like some body powder or something like that, like a little dusting, like you know, for body talc and things of that nature. And then this piece here is actually for perfume or just like scented um, body oils and stuff like that and then you would take this piece out and just like daub it onto onto your skin so just a super cool piece I absolutely loved it now I don't know where my black light is so I don't know if this I guess maybe is considered Vaseline glass I don't really know if you consider this uranium um, but I am curious to see if it would glow under black light uh, but unfortunately I'm not sure where my black light is so I got to um, try and figure that out um, but when I saw these, there are actually, there's just one currently listed for like 240 some dollars. And then there's another listing that is just for this piece, completely by itself for $99. So I do believe this one and this color, this color definitely is more rare. Um, so... Yeah, I was I was really excited about this. And how much did you win this at? Six bucks. Six dollars. It does have one little issue. It though. does have a chip. Tiny little chip out right at the tip top. 
a little dabber thing. Yeah, it's not. It's not the biggest deal. It's not deal, too bad. But normally, I, mean, I, I I try not to buy that stuff. I didn't really care with this one for some yeah. reason because it's so old and it is, and it's cool. It's like a, just a super unique piece. Um, I did give him a bit of like five dollars, but I'm glad you went up to six because I would have been really upset if the, he would have said it ended bid, at six months. The five dollar bid did not fall on me, <laughs> so I didn't get the chance to bid five. I had to bid the six. It's like, am I gonna cut off at four or if I'm gonna go to six? I went to six and they didn't want it. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't, could be missing that. It's still worth six bucks. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Like, I don't know. Maybe people just didn't know exactly what it was. I mean, I, I didn't, didn't know exactly what it was. I didn't there. either. I took a guess and I was right. First. I was like, maybe the, I think I said the poof ball. <laughs> the poof ball goes in the bottom. But yes, for six bucks, heck yeah, I'll take it that. It does seem weird. All though. day long. Like, you'd put your powder in, but you'd have to lift the perfume up out. That's kind of weird. Yeah, well, I mean, it's it's a neat looking piece though. It looked good on my vanity. Put whatever you want really on there. It looked really good on my vanity. Oh yeah, it's just beautiful. All I right. love stuff like that. Like I am just a sucker for all things like beauty related, especially like vintage beauty items. So I think we're on the last thing. Yeah, I, d I didn't I didn't win a whole didn't lot. That's just kind of the way the auction goes. Didn't I'm sorry lot. about that, but like I thought those uh that. Was it creamer and sugar bowl? Was going to be RS Prussia? It might have been, but I could not find one that matched. I think that they might have been as well because the the shape of those, those handles like is what made me. Yeah, really the think. shape it of just those looked it, but. just like the other ones that I was seeing. But since we are still learning and still getting accustomed to like markings and stuff like that, like we're still trying to like understand that just because something doesn't have a marking doesn't mean it's not what it is. You know what I mean? Well, so. I sat there for a while because I was trying to at least like match up handles because that's what gave us the impression yeah I just could not find a match so I was like I, I better let it go it did go probably 15 to 20 bucks so it's kind of we're usually trying to pick stuff up cheap yeah. anyway but if it would have been RS Prussia it would have been worth the, the dog oh, upset. dog our dog she's getting old bless her heart and she just always wants to get in bed but our bed's really high and she never could jump into it it's just way too far up off the ground so she has to wait until we can pick her up and put her in yeah, she's really <laughs> she's going a little blind a little deaf and she likes to be with somebody yeah. at all times and in bed <laughs> so the last thing i bought was something i had no intention of buying i didn't even realize until i went back there. and i looked at it a second time and i was like i'm gonna <laughs> bid on that People started bidding on it. Bidding went up pretty high. Hey, I busted that budget for like a whopping $62. I never, <laughs> never spend 62 bucks on anything, but the fact that it was just so old, I never, <laughs> I have never run across one of these. And I figure, what the heck, why not? This, this is likely not for sale. <laughs> Keep it but I bought a Bible from 1892, a family pictorial Bible. Ah, can we see this? We it see has it. some red Here, rot. I'll get, I'll get out. Stuff like that. It's pretty worn, but I, I, I think, I think that's what I liked about it the most. Eric, um, actually, I. I was on the phone with Eric, well not on the phone, but we were texting back and forth. He was sending me pictures like while he was at the auction because I was home laying in bed. And he had sent me a picture of this, um, you know, that he had won. Um, he did tell me about this one. And I was just like, oh, wouldn't it be funny if it were haunted? And no, I'm yeah. weird. I'm really weird. Like, I'm always about, like, whoa, what if this would be haunted? I actually purchased a haunted doll at a horror convention um, last last year, and I'm just all about, like, finding something that's haunted. I, I haven't yet. Um, that doll is definitely not haunted. Just because, like, I've never had any kind of experiences, and I just, I guess I just want a validation Seems of some sort. Seems like 20 sort. pounds. <laughs> so, anyway, get this Bible, and you can kind of see Do there... You open it? You can kind of see there's something stuck in the middle. I might need your help. Yeah, let's just grab... Can I just grab everything? Yep. Do I have it all? You do. Okay. I'm gonna set this big, big guy down. So, there was some stuff in... 
tucked away into this Bible. Um, something's not so weird. We do have this marriage certificate, which is really freaking cool. Um, obviously these people aren't alive anymore. Uh, but this was, they were married on November 26th of, what would that be? Night, uh, November. November 26th. 1893. 1893. That's Goodness like, gracious. You're, you're coming up on 130 years. Yeah, <laughs> not so too far. that's. 127. That's pretty awesome. And it makes sense that they would kind of keep these things in the Bible because, um, you know, that would have been something that would have been a a big thing in yeah, the family. It's, it's a family Bible. It has and like, they wrote in it like the marriages in the family, the deaths in the family, and that just kind a couple. Of thing. It didn't. It don't seem like they kept it. For yeah. Me. So then, you know, there was a there was a pretty cool old newspaper from our area. Yeah. Well, I don't know if this one was. That but this was from Philadelphia. Philadelphia. Um, it was a pictorial paper of um, when Woodrow Wilson, I guess, passed away. So it's very fragile, uh, but super fun to, to look through. We were looking through it. Um, was that the and one? This oh, one, it was the local paper. This was. one was from 1924. Okay, so then there was a local paper. This one was from our our hometown here. And this one was from January 9th, 1896. And you could see it cost one penny. So this was really fun to look through because we saw some like advertisements of places that um, still are around. Um, the schmuck, was it schmuck or something? Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly the same. Yeah. The but, family's been around. The and then there was, um, what was it? There was like a an accident of some sort. Oh, from, the, the unmanageable horse yeah, from, accident. From Instead of a car accident, it was an unmanageable <laughs> was horse. horse accident. It was a horse. <laughs> but then the most like bizarre thing was these funeral pamphlets that say, comforting words at the funeral of our baby Marie. There's like this old little ribbon here. And essentially, um, it was a death of the infant daughter of the this married couple. Um, their infant daughter died Monday, August 19th, 1895. So this is just kind of like the little um, pamphlet that you would get at, at the funeral. Um, but <laughs> even more bizarre, there was actually a picture of the baby that passed away. So, like a legitimate, you know, photograph. And I I was kind of like wondering if it was a like post-mortem photo. You know how like back then they would take pictures of you dead, but you know, you would look alive because they'd have you pose with your eyes open and all of that kind of weird creepiness. Um, but I did show someone who um, kind of knows a little bit about that and they, they think that it's not actually, like she wasn't actually dead in this photo. Um, but like, I don't have like concrete proof or anything no, like that. I think he said like it was, it was, it was probably pretty close yeah. to the point, but it wasn't done afterwards. Yeah. And then it kind of made a little more sense. They kept this paper because it did mention the death of the baby in the list of, um, it just says names of those who died during the past 12 months and the baby's name was Where's listed that on that. Hanover, Pennsylvania. Yeah. What was the date? Um, I think I did say, but I forget now. Um, January 9th, 1896. It's cool to look through and see like the little advertisements. Yeah. There so there were there. actually two of the pamphlets, but only one had the picture of the baby in. And I was telling Eric, I was like, if we hear a baby crying in the middle of the night tonight, um, that Bible's gone. <laughs> but yeah, we didn't. And it's definitely not haunted. But it was, it's, interesting to see the kind of stuff that you can possibly find in things like that. Like I've heard stories just on like um, thrifting groups on Facebook of people finding like hundreds of dollars in books and things well, I've been of through that the whole nature. Thing. <laughs> yeah, I mean there might be more stuff tucked in there. I don't know. Those were the, just the stuff that was kind of like, you know, on the outskirts. Um, 
don't think I've ever put money in, in books. I mean, I, I've heard, you know, more or less heard people like pressing flowers in books and stuff like yeah. that, but not money and photographs and things like that. But. Yeah, it appears those Bibles can, <clears throat> they can go for pretty good money. Uh, that one's in a little rough shape. Like I said, that's what, that's kind of what <laughs> I liked about it. So that's, that's probably going to go back in the bookcase and just, just chill back there. Yeah, we don't, I don't think we really have a family Bible. So, um, I'm perfectly fine with keeping that in, in with our stuff as it, it being ours now. And I'm just going to keep all of this stuff um, still tucked away in it. I don't know, you tell me, is finding a Bible from the 1800s like a common thing? <laughs> like, <laughs> I've never really paid attention, like, but I, the book screamed at me. So but here's it. a question. What's the weirdest thing you've ever found in a book? Like not necessarily a Bible, but just if you bought a book at a thrift store or a yard sale, let me know <laughs> what you found in it. Cause this is probably the weirdest thing I've ever found in a book for sure. Uh, but that's everything for the stuff that Eric won at the auction. I'm so happy with everything that we got and we're actually like keeping something. So that's super fun as well. Um, I do have three of the, no, two of the things listed so far on eBay. I still have to list um, the dog and the uh, Fastoria, but they will be yeah, going Yeah, I think we were waiting to list soon. that until we could put a black light on it. Yeah, I'm just like really just curious if it if that'll reacts be worth taking a picture it. of or not. <laughs> or not. We should have one. We can't find it. It's time to wrap this up. It is! I will most likely be going again on Tuesday and I won't be and pretty much any time it interests me, so I'll probably take you guys along, so Maybe once a week, maybe not if I don't get there, but I'm, I'm shooting to go each week. Yes, and I mean, I'll go when I can. I just... It's... And there's there's tons, tons of really nice Fenton vases yeah. this coming week. Oh, dog's barking. Dog's barking. <laughs> All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. You have to let us know what you thought down in the comments. And yeah, we will see you next time.